Okay, trying, maybe. Making the attempt. It's only obnoxious when you consider how much money I spend on internet every month. Where it's like, oh wait, you didn't, like, want to actually get on line, did you? You want to do things right. Not at all. I also like chocolate Den Mom, if there are no chocolates in it, or nuts in it. I'm not a huge fan of nuts in my chocolate. Okay, just for sake of trying this fun experiment out to begin with, I'm just gonna try to get this to fit. Okay. Did the chain wander away? No, I'm here. See, something like the Aouador shows it off better, but unsure about the color. I mean, it, it's okay, but it feels too lit. I or it needs to be a deeper that green. Is, that this is way too bright for Vic. Even with the with the catacomb to calm it down, it's way too bright. It's like there's light shining through it. Well, that's what I was trying to go for, but the problem is, like, the color itself it's, it's isn't... Too... It's too blue uh, for what she uses and for what I'd expect her to have. So instead, this is probably going to be even brighter, but it might be color-wise a little less offensing or offensive to the senses. Or more. Good chance of more. And we're going to ignore the fact that it's clipping through the wall. That'll also help. Actually setting it into the wall, that'll give you the full effect. That's actually better. I like that way better. It t it ties into the gold around the room a lot better. It's not as bright. I think that if I put some some red balances on that, that would look great. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah, I think that that'll work. That'll work. And I can add some stuff on the sides as well, so that these don't just the arch doesn't just like stop like that. Or I could leave it as is. Either one works. But I might, I might put a pillar there to tie the stone down to the bottom. Do, 
and we're going around and skinning and we're skinning Do not like that one as much. But I can do Then again, you're not even gonna see the bottom part of that. So before I get too in love with that, let's figure out where we want all of my shelving to go. So there is a reason why I brought back some sumac blocks. We are going to plant these down and do some cupboarding. This is the kitchen area. Hey, Vic. Frickin' ninja. Yes. There you go. Come to your, wow. uh, <laughs> come to your kitchen area. And come stand here like a good measuring stick. That's all I am, a measuring stick. Today, yes. So oh my. We are going to size those down just a tick. Or to about there. Oh, right. wow. Yeah, this is why we have a measuring stick. Because you don't realize uh, just how big this house is. Uh, a tiny dark elf in a giant house. Very tiny dark elf. Also, uh, so this is going to make this kitchen much, much more bigger than I thought it was going to be. Surprise! Yeah, right. So I can pretty much go to about there. All right, step up to that counter and tell me if that feels comfortable. That's eh, a little high. That's a little boob height for her. That'll work. That's odd. Do they not know what your job is? <laughs> Be like, well, unfortunately, uh, I, I feel like the trade skill for, or you should totally tell them just like, yeah, I feel like the trade skill aspect of coercer and illusionist is working as intended. On TLE? Uh -huh. Antioli. I have to say, is anything really balanced on a TLE server? Yeah, sometimes. There was that once. And then we crashed and it was back to normal. Mm. There, that's better. Get rid of the big old mount so I can actually see what the heck I'm doing. And you know what I'm going to have to do? More crafting, because I definitely underestimated the amount of these little dudes I'm going to need. Since I made like five, as opposed to ten or whatever. put in what I'm going to call as granite countertops. 
even though they're they're very much not granite because the granite's a little bit too rocky for these. I did look at the granite. Looked at the granite, thought about it, overturned. And well, that kind of reminds me of way, way back when I worked in food service. And occasionally we would have someone try to like, like I worked at an Arby's and people would come in with like McDonald's or like Burger King coupons all the time and then be really angry at us for why we didn't serve a hamburger. Did you see the sign? Well, there's your word. Like, why can't I have a hamburger? Looks at the sign. Because we don't sell them, sir. <laughs> Never have. Don't have the equipment in the back to make one either, so... <laughs> yeah, I think this is a good, nice little kitchen nook here, and then we'll have the dining right over here. Maybe some light storage in this section here. I'm also just dry, dropping some tiles everywhere, so, like, method madness, there is one, you know it at this point. Eh, caught in block. Honestly, I like these things, too. I like these weird, weird little, uh, fences more than I should, because you can flip them, you can make little ornate, uh, like, decorations with them. I can use just part, part of it if I want to. Like, if I just want, because it's got a bottom, right? Which, big fan, every time they put a bottom on stuff, I can just, I gotta flip it the other direction. Whoops. Oh, look at that, and now it is a random two-block stair. Ha! And you lost the word you wanted? What, for the thing that you pulled from the wish list? So, so, so you're just gonna, gonna taunt us like that, huh? So to make my life not hell with flipping all these, which I'm totally going to do, I'm gonna definitely use the editor for those. Um, right now I'm going through and kind of deciding on what blocks I want to just slap down right now. There are a lot of them. I was also going to check to see if these would work as a edging around those windows. Unfortunately, I'm afraid that the arch is going to be slightly not the right size. We're going to try it anyway. if I can get it to put in the right spot. See, I'd have to set it back a decent amount. I'd have to, like, really pronounce it, or I could just take this out and have those.
Yes! You pl oh my god, yes. Playing card rooms without the event for fru Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god, yes. Please do. We have wanted some so bad for so many events that we have done, but we don't want to, like, a release -y theme it, you know? Also, wouldn't mind, uh, okay, so do you remember those, uh, those little hangy flags that you can get from, shit, what was that zone? That's not gonna bother me now. Uh, it was like combine stuff, and there were ones that looked almost like little pennants hanging from the ceiling. Those were awesome, uh, and yeah, those would be the easiest recolor in the world if they wanted to make more of those. Because those are always been on my favorites. And where is... I'm just going to go ahead and throw that on a hot bar so I can stop looking at my... See, we're going to make it. And don't worry, I will even this stuff out. Right now, I'm just kind of placing it down. Yeah, would totally love more of those coordinates. Also, a big fan, and I didn't think I would like these as much as I do, of uh, some of the items will occasionally, like, move the player or whatever um they're very specific items i know but like for instance like the bouncy cubes are really neat um because they do kind of like give you a little bit of light level design within the houses and everything like we made people darts i don't know if you've ever seen our our people darts oh den mom have you seen the people darts i don't think you've actually seen the uh actually have you seen our our festival at all our little festival grounds I've got to shut the view of the fairgrounds if you haven't. Oh my god! Okay, i got to show you this. I'm camping to dodge real quick. Yes! I'm so excited. I tried the people darts a couple times and it still worked. Um, I'll do a double check on it. We'll check it right now. It's been a minute since I've uh, swapped it out, but I wanted to say we had another challenge since. If not, we can fix it real quick. All right. Uh, so my sentences that I was just saying uh, were kind of gibberish there. We do a uh, venue every Saturday night, um, like decently late, like 10 p.m. EST till like midnight, 1 o'clock. And uh, one of the things we do is a black market fair in Freeport. It's in characterly uh, in a quiet black market area, of, like a back dock of Freeport, um, where we have basically like a boardwalk. There's carnival games and stuff like that, and then there's also, like, basically, like, an item swap that people can do. And, and we do have vendors that'll come out and they'll send or sell stuff. There's um, one rat in particular who, like, all they really sell is, like, trash vendor loot. Um, but it's, like, oddly specific for the character or something. Like, like you'll get, like, a spectral weapon or some sh stuff like that if you're a ghost or whatever. So... show my cloak off draw i'm streaming right now so we have uh i don't know if you've ever seen two this is our giant clock and the giant clock has all of our venues on it so this top one here is my uh personal playhouse um then we've got ooh, that one's my <laughs> that one's mine that one's mine uh this one is a that one's the village that's hokumura village um, the palace is Isle of Refuge. This is the one that we're looking for here. It's the number three spot. 
We've got like a village on there. We've got some a playhouse. We've got a bunch of bars. Uh, and we change the hands of the clock to wherever the venue happens to be that night. So this, if it decides to load in. Also, whoever set the reminder of the day at, or the message of the day as this is a reminder that you forgot someone, something, that person is evil. You're evil. <laughs> It was a neat idea of, of course, <laughs> uh, of us being able to keep all of our different places together. So this one was mostly me and our Senny's deco. Uh, no fly zone. This is a RP venue. So this is part of a reconstruction of one of the towers. We're still working on the roof and everything. Um, we have our little black market dock area. Our Sandy's little office back here. So you have like a little shipyard docks. Um, but that is not the important part here. So enter the black market. You can either hit that portal or you can wander all the way over here. Following the footsteps out to here. So we have a tile emporium. This is actually somebody's booth here. Giving it a second to load in because it is taking forever. Ooh, some work has been done in here. So originally, this is where Heon's stuff was. That is a new booth. I didn't put that in. This I put in. This is our... our uh, our amphitheater. These are the little banners that I was talking about earlier. The ones that are hanging up there. I love the hell out of these things. These things are really cool. Alright, just for ease of travel, I'm going to go ahead and fly. <coughs> so you can see all of it. So we have, there's the amphitheater. That's got to be Heon's booth. He must have added that one in there. Uh, it's a bit extra. I might ask him to tone that down a touch. Just a touch. But I like I like it. It's just, it's a bit there. <laughs> yeah. 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 A little bit. It's fine. Anyway. So here is what most of the booths are supposed to look like. Again, Heon must have had fun one night with his booth. We'll get to that. But most of them we will decorate with like little itty bitty bit of stuffs. Yeah, the Ferris wheel is still great. Uh, we have our food counter. There's the Ferris wheel. The Great Wheel of Caledon. Height restrictions apply. Sadly, it is all just for show. I was always a big fan. This one, I think Arseni did. Yeah, Arseni was. This was Arseni's brainchild, right? Uh, this is our, so down here we have our boardwalk. This is where we had some uh, wreath decorating, but normally it's a hookah bar, hookah lounge. More booths, some games, there's a shooting gallery. With some rules on each one, how it works. We have a fortune teller booth. The, star, the stars that note from a certain angle and in the right light, you will begin to bear an uncanny resemblance to Luke and Delir. That's weird. So weird. So this section here is actually like <laughs> dunk the dick, where you can 
uh, throw things at the uh, at the target and and dunk the dick. It is weird. Here is the carousel. This one again is Arseni's design. I did a lot of the layout stuff and a lot of like the larger ability stuff. Like um, almost all of like the platforms and everything are. But anything that's like super tinkered like this, this is usually Senny's doing. This back here is our uh, House of Mirrors, which there is also snowball stuff in because it was a snowball fight. And these are made with a bunch of mirrors. Some of them you can walk through and some of them you can't. So you see I'm hitting some of the walls here. Snowballs aren't my responsibility. Someone else put those there. I didn't know if I was supposed to be the one to Whoops. remove them or not. I fell through. Hi there, Hian. How are you doing? I only removed the stuff, crossbow stuff that I broke. I did not break those snowballs. I think Gwenny did. Yes. Uh, that was for Gwenny's event, I think. Yeah, the, the mirror house was, had nothing to do with me. I'm just coming into work. Also, yeah, I redid the Elm Four daily because I wasn't going to remove those either. Yeah, so. Okay. Um, I mean that's okay. Uh, this is a bit much. Uh, can we tone it down or move it a little bit? It's blocking everything when you walk in, is all. Like I walk in here and, and this is all I see. And originally the whole layout was to draw your eye to the one thing you're blocking, which is why we had you over here. I'm willing to extend the dock or move the dock around a little bit. It's just bigger than absolutely everyone else's booth and everything else in the area. Yeah, I really wanted the roof, but it's, like, not working. I wasn't able to size it in a way that would have everything fit. We could make it work. I just didn't know that you wanted a bigger area, or I'd have helped you out with it. Yeah, it's, I didn't intend for it to be that big, but I just wanted, like, the stupid roof to fit, and I wanted everything to fit. I might try a different roof and move it back a little, if that helps. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll I play around with a good place for where yours can be, where it's still noticeable and everything. I honestly am surprised you didn't get any RP with where you were at, considering you were at the very front. I didn't get much, because it was kind of just out of the way, unless people were going to watch performances. That's fair. So this is our, our food house, or, or uh, like a kind of a brisket bar, ale house. Ale tasting, of course, festival grounds. These are honestly some of my favorite seatings that we've done in any of ours. I, I really like the little hangy basket seats. And I dig having Dodge just hang out up here. Those are fun. They are dangerous. I, but I like those. I, I dig them quite a bit. And then down below we have uh, the creepiest place in the world. And this is, is Vic's Spider Hut. It is not the creepiest place. It's Vic's Spider Hut. Oh, there's one missing. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh there's multiple missing. Uh, I'm not okay with that. Where are they? Vic. For your pets. Anybody want to buy a spider? A spitter? A spitter. A spitter. Yeah, a little back dock there. Anyway, the big reason we came here was people darts. Yes, yes. people darts. People darts. Okay, so this is people darts. So we have this that propels you up. This wonderful little target and this wonderful little launch platform. Now, there was, after a point, I did uh, move around where, was that where I had that? That seems like further out. Yeah. Pretty much where it's been. We were playing with the people darts and where the platform was. So, actually, I gotta, let me turn my mount, or my speed buffs off first. Because I otherwise, was going Like, do you see me just like, yeah, I just jetted off of that. So, speed buffs off, mount off, run up to the top here, and then you go, wee, boing, and then you try to land, boop, on the target. People darts. 
and this is entirely too fun. We do competitions. Luthien's not allowed to play anymore. <laughs> well, yeah. That's he's not a, you. He's allowed to play. He's not allowed to win anymore. Yeah. That when that one prize you gave him, he has used quite far too often. Oh, look at that. I do feel like it's a little far. Like, I really do have to, to run for it. Gosh. And I'm over, almost overshooting, so I'm wondering if I should move it back. Just not not even a lot of it. Just a hair. A scooch. Just a scooch. Because I won't have the same problems as others with my various run speed whatevers. There's still a couple passive things that I can't turn off. I know I'm sitting at a, above 100, or I'm sitting at above 0% for run speed right now, I can guarantee you. Okay, I hope it's a little bit wild now. Point, oh! Yeah, so sometimes it will just give you a not great spring. And I don't it's kind of hard to like double check what the spring is doing and why I decide it's not like you. Because sometimes, yep, see that one gave me perfectly fine spring. And sometimes it'll just mess you up. Honestly, that's a little bit of the fun of the uh, the people darts competition yeah. is you have to kind of compensate. It does suck if you happen to be the one who gets like three in a row that aren't great. I mean, that compensates for people flailing around in the air, the wind speed of a, a laden swallow, all that good stuff. That right there. And we score on points. So we have one point for these two rings here. Two points for the white, three points for the, the red, white, or the red, yellow, or whatever. Four points, and then five points for a bullseye. And people get three jumps. And sometimes, sometimes, the Chaos Bar doubles the points on the last run. I do. Uh, oftentimes I will do that if I notice that there's too big of a discrepancy on the points yeah. that, like, no one could ever take, overtake the last person. I'll mix it up by doing double points on the last one so you can keep the, the game exciting. But yeah, this is our one of our pride and glories as far as, like, cool decos go it, it, it is this dude here. Honestly, Heon, uh, that doesn't even look too bad, even just without the, uh, without the top. Yeah, I think the roof might have been a little much. I really liked it, but I don't want to... I, I think this, honestly, looks that. fine. Uh, well, minus that random tile that you just chilled well, up I'm there. just using that to reposition the, uh, drapery. That, that'll go bye-bye. <laughs> okay. Because but, like... Like, I don't mind that one because it's not sitting up much higher than anything else. And that way it keep, kind of keeps your eye down. And my eye is still drawn right to it. I think that works way better. You know, Denmom, you're welcome to come uh, along and play. It is it is open. I believe this place is open to the public right now. If we haven't... Access is... We have this one published. Well, no, of course we didn't because no, you know you you're moving one. stuff. Sorry. Oh no, you're fine. I don't own it either. I don't know why I'm looking because this is not my house. It's, it's under the okay. palace. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> it was a section that we had, and hey, look, we're under item count still somehow. Yeah, I, I tried to be nice. I really love the attention to detail that we all did. We all we all kind of pitched in at the jokes in here. Like we have the a pot to piss in, pot one black, cleaning rag one black, scented candle two black. The pot thing made me laugh. It did. When I first saw it. And then when you go in, it's just a bucket. There's, there's just a bucket. Oh, heck, there's nothing in there. We should, I'm going to have to go in and put a bucket. Just like a regular bucket. Because the other one's got a mop in it. But there's no bucket. Or honestly, no, I just need to have like a hole that goes goes into the water. 
No, I, I did advertise a pot. So, I think there needs to be a pot, right? Stop eating. <clears throat> but yeah, that is one of our, our monthly events that uh, we try to do. I don't think we've done it this month yet. I think that might end up being something like the next thing that we do might be a good idea. Um, not this weekend, because this weekend we've got an event planned, like this actual mm -hmm. like yeah. open world live event, and then uh, the weekend after that. I want to make sure that it's I don't I don't want to overbook because I know that the chain wanted one of the days coming up. I can't remember which one. Uh, I think it's a week or two, two or three weeks into uh, February. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. Also, uh, do you remember where we stuck the guild hall door in here? I know there's one. Uh, it's over here near the, uh, near my little weaponsmith area. Like, this little building here with the dockmaster or whoever the chief guys are. It's right here on this side. I can put a thingy around it to make it less, uh... Oh, yeah. Bl it blends in super well. Like, you can't it, see it. It does. It really does. I feel like you should put a door knocker on it or something. It's just so... You won't see it unless you look really hard. The, the textures on the wood are kind of similar. Nice. But yeah, totally think that we should do another night the, pretty soon. And so everyone can have fun wandering around out there. A lot of times we'll do other contests too. Uh, we've done uh, bardics. We've done little like uh, sparring challenges. We've got the you know the maze and everything. Various competitions. There was a wreath building over the holidays. I'm gonna share show off this one here because hey, why not? I always do. Since I get to show Denmum's stuff, hey Denmum, look at my stuff. <laughs> I'm being silly. Stuff and things. Uh, so this one is honestly one of. This is probably one of the builds that I'm most proud of, that I did completely solo. Between this one and my when the Nightingale, I think those are, are my top two of ones that I've just like did it just been me like just me. This is my village. It's actually for a, a not this character, but for my monk. There's a dock. So first we shall start with the gardens. Actually, first we shall start by turning on my graphics. There are a couple parts of this that are a little on the dated side. This hasn't been updated in the last few uh, expansions. What are those little, um, those little pink trees? What are those? Uh, which ones? The pink ones. This one? That were in front of me. Yeah, that where you're mouse around. Yeah, what are those? Lilac bristle trees. Okay, I like them a lot. I'm working on a little island for Dion that has like a, a lot of East Asian themed decor and I, they kind of have like the hill tree vibe. This one I really wanted to have a very East Asian theme to. Mm -hmm. the, the whole idea was supposed to be that this was like a tiny little fishing village off the coast of Mara. Just like a little waypoint. So I I made, this is when House Actors first came out, and I decided to just like have fun with them. So there's a million and a half of them scattered throughout, having little conversations. Um. Oh, it's my wishing well. Hey, look, it's a wishing well. One of my uh. I was looking at it on the uh, marketplace the other day. Yeah, it's one of my my old marketplace items. I'm loving it. Uh, yeah, a lot of my house item or my house decors uh, either start with me making an item and then getting it in marketplace and basing it around there, or just like coming around an item in my bag. 
So we've got uh, a little bit of a farmland here, just a touch, with some, with some horsey area. Probably in hindsight, probably shouldn't have put the horses right next to the food, just because cross contamination with the poop and everything. But we don't need that kind of realism in my fantasy game. <laughs> Wandering down the beach. So we have in here, hey, just a little bit of mining. Just a little bit of a tunnel. And yes, this tunnel was not actually there. There was uh, there was like a big old room here that didn't really match or anything. It really just needed to be a, a natural looking tunnel. I'm envious of how detailed that is. I couldn't, I couldn't do that. It took me a bit. This is the better part of a month or so. And I got like my little ships over here. Uh, each one of these guys has actual like text. Like this one's like, keep moving. Darn thing won't stay tied. Blast your rigging. I, I had way too much fun writing these. Yeah, that's how it is in the queue, but it makes me so jealous. It really is. It's so fun to write. And, and that is all of the dock area, and then we get to start up this. This wonderful, wonderful walk that we're about to get to do. Are you ready, kids? All right, Captain. Here we go! Alright, up we go, up the stairs, da, da 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 Yes, all of these were hand placed because I had no life and I was a college student. What else did I have to do with my time? Anyway. Honestly, I'm taking advantage of as much free time as I have left before I graduate and get a job. Right. Like, these here were... <sighs> I was yeah, not able to use the working. editor on a lot of these to straighten them. I had to just put I down mean, a tile and lay them down because of how, especially once you get to around here, the angles started getting very mathy. That's where I could kind of set them, but for the most part, it was just pushing them by hand. I can't do stairs. Stairs are like the one thing that I can't do. Like, unequivocally, I just can't. So I'm really impressed by those stairs and the sheer amount of even that you have. Oh, oh yeah. We're not even halfway up this here. We still year, got all oh, these to do. And that's the other thing. Like I wanted it to look cool from afar and from looking up, and I think I got it. So, I, I love doing little video tours of this place. It's so cool. So, we got a market here. A lot of the buildings uh, do actually have interiors. Um, some of them are fake because I had to watch item count like none of these guys are, you know, that's not a real building. And that's not a real building. But the facades make it look bigger than it actually is. And occasionally got little vendor stalls. We don't need no uh, railings. We're just going to run up fearlessly. This one has both a little storefront and, if you go inside and to the bottom, a small little living quarter. Because when I fleshed out this section, I realized there was a big old empty void in the middle of it that I could totally use, and did anyway. Wandering up the stairs we go. Another little house. Crying. I want to keep the family for this, but I need it. And up here is... First off, this bridge is sadly not completely walk around. It does end right about there. Just not enough quite room. You have to pass through. And this is the ironworks. I love the doors and the windows. It looks just like a backwards game. I thought that was so neat. And we have our little forges. Oh, the forge for that looks so. Oh, that looks incredible. I love the forges. 
I blatantly stole this design years and years and years ago off of a decorator. I think her name was Elva um, from Silver Circle, who did this for uh, an incinerator at one point. And I loved it so much that I have ripped it off blatantly ever since. When these doors first came out, they were like that. <coughs> Not done variations ever since. They just fit so well. Added bonus? Um, these get big enough to walk through, these circles do, and these doors fit them, so you can actually make this into an actual tunnel if you wanted to. So then up we go again. See, we're still not up to the top. Awesome view. Yeah, there's, there's how far high up we are so far. Totally hang out there. And and this is what happens when you give yourself the challenge of how do I get to the top of this thing without using a teleporter? Yeah, I've used a teleporter and drove my way down and not got killed. I was like, nope, Clifftown. All right, so then we have the open air bazaar. It's another little district of the city town. Some nice little sleeping quarters. It, it took a lot. It, it took a lot. And I want to say that Vachain heard me complaining about it the whole time. <laughs> when it was done, I was really proud. Here is the training arena. Originally, I had some people fighting in here, but we actually did use this as a uh, venue one night and did some training fights here. I remember that. We should totally do that again. Well, I, I, missed, I missed that place. I had to go back. And then out here, we have a shrine. Yeah, no weapons this time. Y'all can't be trusted. Somebody's arm got lost. Right. Yeah. yeah this is a, a memorial really to a family family that got mauled by a bunch of uh, or it was like a, a werewolf attack was the in character lore of of this place. It was one of the things that caused my character to, to kind of like go out of his little fishing village area. Upside? Yep. I yep. More of him. And this is the interior. Should probably do like a better showcasing of it there. Uh, this is the inside uh, cave area. And has a lot of the larger homes and buildings in it. So first off, we have the public latrines. We have men and women's side. I'm going to wander in. There's a bath. For each. There are les toilets for each. And this time, the pot to piss in is, in fact, free. Um, each one of these houses, this one here is actually a split level. It's got one on this floor, and then the other side, up around here, gets you the upstairs apartment. little sa other facades just to fill out all these little areas in the background I put these little fake houses in here yeah like they, they sell pretty well they 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 go <coughs> this little rental house this is like the the rental getaway house so if I have an excuse I can be like yeah Dodge totally finds a place here This is Atzel's place. It's a nice place. The 
it's nice, but not too nice. Like, it's got, like, a nice little catch net area. It's tasteful, but still minimal. That. This is still, to this day, one of my favorite, uh, like, stone hearth area things. Ooh, Hakamura Village! Yes, it is. I'm wandering through and showing off my stuffs. We have the bookcases over there. And oh. going upstairs. Little seating area. And the bedroom. Huzzah. Oh, the bedroom needs updating. Honestly, like this place hasn't been updated since like three you years, know? I wanna say. Yeah, this is totally not a bookcase. Now that you have the Not Nightingale updated, now that you have a, the Nightingale updated, maybe you want to update Hakamura Village. Uh, so, uh, it depends on what I wanted to update with it. Like, the bedroom in here, like, my biggest issue is the, is the, the ceiling is really low in here. Um, yeah. And it's I not... I love those windows. Mm-hmm. Yes, I, I, love I've, those always loved the, I've always loved the windows because they were actually like working windows. I love those ice tiles. Those are my favorite window material. Almost walked through the paper screens. No, they don't have collision because they're backwards paintings. Uh, that's another thing that like things that look like way more similar than they are. These, uh, the the rice paper screens. These are paintings. They have no collision. So these are these flipped backwards. And the only way how to get them to be white on both sides is to, you guessed it, double layer them. <laughs> yes, this was done by hand. Yes, I have regrets. Yeah, I love those so much. I can't. And then in Not here we have the city bar, or village bar. I still think you should update it. With what, though? I don't know, but it needs updating. Does it? I don't. I, I almost don't want to touch it. There's not a lot of um, Asian-influenced uh, furniture still, but... Yeah, the string lights were one thing I wanted to add more of. Yay, string lights. And those, like, those banners and everything like that. Those were some things that I couldn't have before. But again, like, I'm also running kind of... I want to say I'm kind of... Uh, but now there's like Plus, a tea uh, shop house and items. Stuff yeah, and... I'm at 1197 out of 1200. I want to add more stuff, but I am running really close to to max here. We'll feed back more item more item count on houses. <laughs> like I would 1199 and 1197. She already has expanders on there. That's why it's 1200. It started at 900. Yeah. I have expanded the hell out of this place. Now that said, uh, some of the reason why I changed around the Nightingale was because of item count. Um, there weren't, when I left originally, there were not doors and windows. You had to do everything out of either dividers or stairs. And I want to say that these are, like, these are a lot of railings. So what brought you to uh, Hakamura? Just walking around. I like showing it off. Yeah, because like, this is just a sideways turned railing. You know so, what you like, could finish? A lot um, of those. You never did finish the rum cellar one that you have. The summer house? Yeah, I'm still working on that one. I wonder if this would level my safe ball. What do you think? Is this going to level my safe ball? I kind of want you to try it, although I'm scared you'll die. 
Well, the joy of an MMO is there's a res button. Whee! Oh god, this is totally gonna kill him. Nope, didn't kill him. And death prevent is still on. I get better at safe fall. 292 out of 625. Yay! Safe fall is great. <laughs> so yeah, that was Hokumura Village. Did you show off uh, the nightingale yet? Not yet. Should I? Yeah, if you're going through your houses, you should. I was going through all the houses. I was really trying to show Den Mom people darts. And then I ended up oh, showing darts. off the entire zone and then Okamura Village because I get sidetracked. Well, she seems to enjoy it, so... Well, I sincerely hope so. Oh, gotta let the things. All right, so it is actually uh, six seventeen. So we will end this on the uh, the tour of Nightingale, which I was on it too. So last thing, last thing we'll do, or we'll recoverable error. I will be right back as I restart that. Something I did, it did not like. Now, here's the question. Oh, good. Yeah, I'd imagine a double wide monitor would get, would be great. You, you are opening a couple hundred files one by one, clicking on a checkbox and saving a file. So being able to watch this lovely decorating while I'm doing something so tedious is great. That's what Dan Mom just posted. The question is, am I going to, when I log back in, be in the uh, guild hall still? Or am I going to be in the uh, in the correct zone? This account is in use. No shit, Sherlock. We're working on, yeah, stuff. my favorite thing in the world when Trying to log back in. Trying to log back in. One day soon, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to log back in. All right, there. <laughs> you. And here we go to run. Now this is where normally the Nightingale Performance Hall would have its. Uh, well, rules and the actual play put on up. So we are going to wander on this way. I finally decided on our name for the house. 
Oh good. I have to let my stuff, hold that thought, we're gonna pause here for a moment and let the rest of the building load. Little bit of a minor pop in, it's fine. There's a lot of items here. Now granted, uh, a couple of the things on here are like not necessary, like none of this stuff here. This is all just me getting ready for stuff. Um, I also did put in, oh, here we go, let it load, let it load. I did put in an actual, um, which I have to finish the stage portion of. There is, a, I don't know if you can see up there, a chess set, Wii. We played on this. I am changing out the bottom of it to, to make a fancy platform that actually matches it so you can watch from the top. But yeah, more importantly, this is the Nightingale. Which I'm still working on the front of. There, there's some, some things that I'm going to change about this little section here that I'm not a huge fan of. But other than that, we I love Nightingale. it. I like this section here. I don't like how I was struggling to get these parts uh, even. Like this to me looks rough and I don't like how uneven it is. And it's like that on the other side. I tried to at least keep it uniform, but still it's like, mm, it bothers me. But on the interior, I like it. So the chances are I'm just going to end up like doing a quick fix on the outside to make the outside look as decent as the inside. Um, here I is... I love the inside. Which, like, here is the inside here. We've got uh, a bird cage here. Which, hey, look, I found a place for the stork. Yay! Does that not look so good in there? That stork really looks does. perfect in gentleman, there. Gentleman is his natural habitat. That's amazing. He looks like such a gentleman in there. I love him. He does. Huge supporter of the sport. Uh, this is where I ended up sticking all of my uh, housing little trophies here. <laughs> Which honestly kind of works because these look about as shiny as like it was kind of mimicked by these tiny little plates and candles. Which I like and are totally not a fire hazard at all. <laughs> not a fire hazard. Not a fire Dick hazard. Dick would approve. Dick so, would approve. On the other side of the bird enclosure is the fish tank. And originally there was a fish tank in here um, that was just on the one side. But uh, looking in on it, like it's called the nightingale. After a bird. Maybe, maybe bird themed up front. But I still like fish tanks, so I have one. I think every one of your house has one of them. Oh, damn near. I really like making fish tanks. I also have a fish tank right behind me, so it makes sense. Yeah, I remember you used to talk about your beta all the time. Oh. Uh, I have clownfish now. So this is the stage area. This is all of our seating. the actual stage, which everything that from from the uh, the seating, you should be able to be within emote range of pretty much everything on the stage. So long as they're not plastered against the back wall, you should be able to hear everything. But we measured it out often. Going up top here. Now this part here I'm still messing with because like I was never 100% happy with the seating up here. Like on the one hand, I like it. I want to put uh, like a little bit of a planter thing behind this to kind of flesh it out because I like the idea of being sat forward. If I was sitting back flat, the actual bowl was keeping you from being able to sit. But the problem with these is that they are very mm, tiny. So I need to put a backing of a chair or something like that or it looks a little weird. But, like, seating-wise, it looks fine when you're sitting there. 
so yeah, I'm going to put some, like a, one, probably one of the, the back row pl planners happens to be around this size and shape. I might put one back there and a few like little mini plants and stuff. And then I have an extra big size bird seat for our larger patrons. Very appreciated. I, I felt that pause directed at me. That was. It very much was. It really would. And I would agree with that. And up top here. I love the pillows and those benches. We have... This is just a various space right now. This is the cafe that is up top. So from down below, um, you can look down and see our very fancy uh, chessboard. Better view the chessboard this way. Yeah, these rugs are probably some of my favorites. Just how pretty I they are. I love those rugs. I love them. Look at them. And then, you know, we got to grab our coffee at the not Starbucks. <laughs> it's meeting what time making... for Den Mom. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck with your meeting, Den Mom. Of course. What did you make the, what did you make the umbrellas out of? Uh, they are bowls. They're K-Doll Bowls. Oh, cool. They're one of very few bowls that got big enough that actually matched the thing. Oh, God, I'm trying to remember who the heck gave me the idea. I think it was, like, Gwynny and Arseny and I were talking about it. And, like, yeah, I think Gwynny was the one who finally gave us the bowls. Like, we were going through, I had the idea originally of using the Jester Bowls. Um, flipping those upside down, they did not get big enough. And so Senny and I were going through a bunch of stuff, trying to find one, and then Gwenny suggested k doubles, and those worked perfect. Glad those worked out. So this is the coffee roaster area. Um, the coffee roaster, I did actually look up and made sure it worked. Oh, I still need to put a brace under there still, though. forgot about the brace. So from here, going up, the coffee comes up the, the chute, dumps into the little chute, gets roasted in here, pours out the, sh the spout when done, and goes into the cooling bin. From there, the cooling basin cools them down, chunks them into the bin, and you can dish them out. Yay, coffee bones. <laughs> We have the, the Lover's Peak. So shiny. Extremely shiny. And it somewhat hurts me that those are gold shiny bars and not purple shiny bars. Or er, bar, uh, balls. Well, at the time, the gold ones are the only ones that existed. I just don't have the purple shiny ones. And meanwhile, I have my very maimed statue. I think you can get the purple ones from the panda, can't you? Yeah, but at the time, the panda wasn't a thing. Well, that's true, but I'm just saying. Those yes. do not feel quite right. Why, yes. Totally could. But yeah, that is the Nightingale. In all of its glory. Including its little coffee shop and everything. Whee! And I still love this, uh... This chess set. It's so pretty. I can't get over just those tiles. Those tiles look so good. I do love how it turned out. The only issue that I have is I gotta redo the, the bottom half of here so it looks okay. But that's okay. That's just it's just an in progress thing, right? Right? So, uh, like I said before, this is going to be the end of our stream tonight, because it is already 6.30. Gonna go and, like, eat and stretch and stuff. 
Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to see everybody back on stream on Friday, um, which Friday is also raid night, so we'll be doing a little bit of streaming, uh, faffing about as such, at 3 p.m. EST, and then we'll be doing raid later that night. So excite! Uh, in the meantime, if you happen to be watching, thank you so much for uh, keeping me entertained for the evening. Uh, definitely love a follow if you happen to not follow. All right, slowly working our way up to 100. It's almost there. Getting there. We're at 84. Um, and likewise, I love me some subscriptions. And uh, thank you for the support. Until next time, bye.